Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at mobile recording with JMeter 3.0. I'm going to show you how we can uh, use JMeter to set up a proxy, which we can then connect a mobile device to. And then from our mobile device, we can you know, record a test, either testing a mobile website or an application of our choice. And then finally, we're going to be playing back that recorded test at scale. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and launch JMeter. Once we have that loaded up, this is actually fairly easy. Um, we're just going to go up here to File, go to Templates, and it should be by default to select the recording template, but if it's not, just go ahead and select Recording. Then all we're going to do here is Create, and then there we go. It has all of the various parameters that we want for our mobile recording. It has the thread groups, the recording controller, the workbench, the HTTPS test script recorder, and more. So from here, we're going to go to the HTTPS test script recorder to just set up our proxy. So there's a couple things we can do here, but we're going to keep it kind of basic for this video. So the port we're going to connect here is 8888. So you can change this if you want, but we're just going to leave it right there. So once that's all good, we're going to want to head and go and find the IP address of our computer. So we're going to go to hit if config. And now this should show us our IP address under the EN0 right here. So we're going to need this IP address to uh, load up on our phone. Okay, now we're going to look at how we can set up our mobile device to connect to our JMeter proxy and get started with that. So for the purposes of this video, I'm mirroring my Android device with AirDroid so you can see what I'm doing on my phone and what I'm doing in JMeter. Now, these next couple of steps will probably slightly differ depending on your device and operating system, but they're more or less going to be the same. So before we begin, we need to install the appropriate JMeter certificates on our phone. So I'll provide a link down below for you guys to get that because it can be a little bit involved. But we're just once we download it, we're going to save it to our phone. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to where I had that saved. I'm just going to oops. We're just going to click it, and we're going to be used for VPN and apps, and hit OK. Now we have the certificate installed. And if we look up here at the top of our notification header, we can see the network may be monitored. So that's how we know it has properly installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Wi-Fi settings so we can connect to the proxy. So Wi-Fi. Now this is the network that I'm connected to. So I need to get to my advanced Wi-Fi settings. So I'm going to long press here, I'm going to go to Manage Network Settings, and we're going to click Show Advanced Options. And this is how we can set up a proxy. So under Proxy, we're going to hit Manual. And now it's going to prompt us for our host name and whatnot. So as I mentioned here is where we're going to put the IP address of our computer, because it is a, a, a local host. So in this case, mine is 10. Point one point ten point six eight. So once we got that sorted, we need to go ahead and set up our port, proxy port. So we're going to be using uh, port eight 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 eight. So we'll just simply put that in, and we're just going to hit save. And then once we've done that, you should be good to go. Okay, now that we have uh, JMeter and our phone set up for recording, we can begin our test. So we're going to go over here to our test script recorder. We're going to simply hit start. That will prompt us about the boot certificate. So we'll just hit OK. And we'll go to our view results tree so we can watch the test in real time. So I'm going to be testing Imgur for this video. So on my phone, I'll open up the Imgur app, 
and you can already see on the left it's recording all the requests. So now I'm just going to quickly and aimlessly click around here so we can get a sample recording. Okay, I think that should be good enough. So we'll go back to our test script recorder and hit stop. And yes, yeah, if you go to our view results tree, it'll see that it recorded everything that we did. And now we're gonna go ahead and save this. So we obviously don't lose our data. But now the great thing about this is that we can just replay this test directly in Jmeter. So we can go up here to our thread group and now this is where we can start to scale the test. So by default, this is all set to, you know, one thread, one second for the ramp up time and only one loop count. But we're gonna be changing this. So we'll make 10 threads and we'll make the loop count five. So this will give us, you know, a more realistic result. And uh, additionally, we're gonna also add a timer here. So we're gonna go under our thread group and add a uniform random timer. This is just to help with the request when we replay the test to give a more accurate real world usage. So we'll put that there on the top. We'll change the delay maximum to 400 milliseconds. That should be good. So we'll just double check that everything looks out. We can begin to scale our test within JMeter. So we'll go back to our view results tree underneath the thread group and we'll hit play. And there you go, it looks like our test is completed. And obviously it was much longer than our initial recording because we changed the thread group. So again, we can go in here and look at all this very information. I've also added a couple other listeners under our thread group. I've added a view results and table for a more detailed breakdown. And we also have the, the aggregate graph. So we can look at the various performance breakdowns. But yeah, that's exactly how you'd want to at least initially scale a test within JMeter after you have recorded it. Okay, now that we scaled our test in JMeter once, we're going to scale it even further. And now to do this, we're going to upload this uh, JMeter script into Redline so we can cloud test it. So we're going to log into our Redline account, and we're just going to hit start test. And we'll click on JMeter test. And then right here is where we want to upload our file. So we'll navigate to where we save it, the imager test, and it'll load it up. We want to make sure we're on JMeter version 3.0. And now we can go play with the advanced cloud options. and all these parameters. So because I want to scale the test, I'm going to choose a slightly larger server. We'll use an m3.medium. Instead of just one server, let's do three. So now, you know, we saved the test with 10 threads and five loops. So this will be even further accentuated with this test. So before I start the test, I'm also going to click the save the response output from individual test and calculate percentiles. So this is a great pro feature that we have. And once I make sure everything checks out, we're going to hit start test. And our servers will spin up and the test will run as soon as they're ready to go. Okay, I skipped ahead in the video a little bit because we were just waiting for the servers to spin up and for our test to complete. But once it's all done, you'll see this detailed breakdown in Redline, we can keep scrolling down here, and as you'll see, the, the threads that we have and the number of requests changed from since we uh, ran the test in JMeter. So as we scroll down here, we can see the, our, our percentile results. Um, these are our overview metrics. So we got some interesting threads per second here. We have our thread elapsed time, which is our request metrics, which are really interesting, as you can see. And then our kilobytes per request, then our, our errors, and then finally our agent metrics. So yeah, so once you've recorded your test in JMeter and 
ran it on a somewhat smaller scale, you can then easily upload it to Redline where you can scale it much further. For example, maybe next time we want to do 200 servers instead of three. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you guys have any questions, just leave us a comment down below or email us and we'll gladly be able to help. Thanks.